Hey guys and welcome back to my Magical Box tutorial. In this one I will be showing you guys how to download, import, and use HDRIs to create scenes. HDRIs are basically skyboxes and serve to create realistic lighting quickly. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's say you finished your scene and you want to create more realistic lighting. You would just go to Google type in HDRI Haven should be the first uh, search selection and you want to click on HDRIs and then you have a vast uh, array selection to choose from um, you want to download the HDRI that best fits your scene so for instance in my office scene I have light coming through a window and it looks to be around noon or maybe around 10 a.m. So I do not want to download something like this where it's cloudy or um, something that's night. You can always uh, so you can always sort it by category. So I could do skies, um, sun maybe, and take a look at the selection here. I think. Um, sunflowers looks pretty good, so I'm just going to click on that, scroll down, and um, I'm going to download the 2K version. And so it's going to download, and what you want to do is find where you stored Magical Voxel. In my case, I have it saved in desktop, graphic artwork, Magical Voxel. And we want to save it in IBL. This is where all the HDRIs will be stored in. Hit save. Um, I'm also going to download the 8K version just to show you uh, what's the difference between like a 1K version and a 16K version. Let's go ahead and go back to Magical Voxel. Um, to enable HDRIs, you want to go to Render, and under the Light Settings in Sky, you want to click the third option right here. And now, you can click on this picture and find uh, what HDRI you saved. I have a Sunflowers 2K, so I'm going to open that. Um, you can adjust the intensity of the light and also the wall lighting for uh, the scene. You can just turn that all the way down because I'm using most of the light from here. And you can change the rotation of where the light will be coming from. Right now I'm in an orthogonal view, but if I go to free camera and look, I can see the skybox that the HDRI uh, took. And if I change the rotation, you can actually see the whole skybox moving. And I can just try to find where the sun is. It looks like it's right there. So I can move it accordingly as such. Something like that. And increase the exposure. And actually, um, this is looking a bit off from the actual scene I have, so you could do two, one of two options. You can either um, go back to HDRI Haven and find a different image to save it. And in my case, I actually found something called Abandoned Tank Farm. And when I load that up, you can see it matches my scene more. Uh, clearly, and I can adjust the rotation like such. And um, let's say I'm happy with this. What you want to do next is make sure your bloom is enabled. That will give the uh, any light source or emission the pop it needs. For instance, like you can see here, giving it a nice pop. You can go into these three bars. I want to turn on these settings right here. This will definitely slow down the render times, but make um, the scene look a lot nicer. 
and um, let's say the resolution of the, the image of the, res the quality is not as uh, good as you find in high-res images. You can change these numbers right here, where it um, has the image logo, and it basically is like um, screens, so you can change it to 1440p by 720 resolution, or for the highest settings, it's uh, 2048 by 2048. This will take, depending on the hardware you have, quite some time, and if you want to increase the sampling, that will uh, make it less look less grainy, but also increase the rendering times. Uh, let me, I'm just going to reduce the resolution back to the default settings and show you uh, the difference between the 2K resolution HDRI and the 16K we downloaded. Uh, right now, actually, let me actually go to the one we downloaded. Right now, you can see each, the skybox is um, kind of low quality. But if you go to the 8K version, uh, you can see the trees are looking much more um, rendered and high res. Let's see, let me just look right here like that and watch what happens when I go to back to 2K. You can see it looks a lot less, um, looks a lot more blurry, but um, the obviously obviously the resolution you download at drastically increases in uh, file size so I'd like to stick between 2k and 4k and maybe just even 1k if you're doing a orthogonal look because you won't even see the skybox anyway but if you were trying to capture a scene looking through a window and looking into the world you want to get that much higher resolution HDRI. Um, and with that, that is basically it. I hope this video has helped. Um, if needed, I could link the file for this scene and any other links needed in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video.